1962, a year many cannot forget. At this time, America was in the height of its Cold War with the Soviet Union and facing many tragedies. One of these many tragedies was malaria, affecting U.S. soldiers in mass numbers, bedridden military members in a time where we needed them most. In turn, the chemical DDT was created. The chemical seemed to be a lifesaver, curing malaria in no time. Quickly, the U.S. military was raining the chemicals over large areas like No Tomorrow. Only thought on their mind was saving the soldiers. Except one person, Rachel Carson, a young lady who worked for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services at the time, who raised the question, what side effects does this chemical have? The chemical was created in spray with little to no testing, so she wrote a concern in her book, Silent Spring, which turned out to be vital and the savior of our environment. In today's video, I say I will bring up who Rich Carson is, how to save the environment, and why we should all strive to be a little bit more like her. Now, uh, to these people, apparently, the, the balance of nature was something that was um, repealed as soon as man came on the scene. Rachel Carson is quite interesting. Born in 1907, she started in college to become a marine biologist, quickly starting a 15-year career in the Federal Service as a scientist and editor after graduating. She wrote the books Under the Sea Wind, The Sea Around Us, and The Edge of the Sea before even thinking of Sound Spring, showing her experience and success came from a long life of hard work and fascination in nature. She never tried to raise her voice in defense of Mother Nature, and this shows in Sound Spring when she rose the question of how DDT was affecting ecology on small and large levels. At the time she wrote the question, the world was praising DDT and calling it a life savior, meaning that going against the craze of the entire world would be very difficult and criticism inducing, but Rachel Carson didn't care. It needed to be done. Why did this need to be done, you may ask? I think the first chapter of Silent Spring explains it best. Chapter 1 of Silent Spring describes a prosperous town filled with life, farms, and happy townsmen. They would use chemicals to tend to their farms and have not a care in the world, until one day their animals started dying. Litters of babies lasting only a few days, birds slowly disappearing. Quickly, the chapter ends with the idea of the once lively town having a spring morning with silence. No birds tweeting, no issues cockadoodle doing, just pure silence. She goes on to say that this town isn't made up, it's not fictitious but it's the future for many cities in America. I personally think this idea perfectly describes why Rachel Carson saved nature, and I can tell you how. Rachel Carson, when releasing Silent Spring, brought up facts society hadn't known about DDT. These facts led to the eventual ban of the chemical, like the fact that DDT had gotten into the food chain and was slowly killing biodiversity. Small orthopods would consume the DDT, which made its way through the food chain with the fish, and eventually birds. With the way that the food chain works, these birds would get the most toxicity from the DDT, affecting them the most. This led the bald eagle population, the symbol of our nation, to exponentially decrease and make them endangered. This discovery from Richard Carson helped lead to the complete ban of DDT in America in 1972. Since the ban, the eagle populations have drastically gone up, showing how Richard Carson helped in a big way to save these species. Without her, birds like the bald eagle might have gone extinct. Rachel Carson was a brave and fearless woman. Even with her death in 1964, she continues to make an impression in the world. Her books have led many to get involved with the environment and has made sure America's biodiversity stays intact. Even when the entire world loves something, she had the courage to stand up and say the truth, to help save the world when many wouldn't. I hope we all, when having knowledge that is life-changing but difficult to say, even on a smaller scale, learn from her courage to stand up and speak out. <laughs>